Late one night, Tom and I just out of sheer boredom and self-defense made up a song, just entertaining ourselves. And little did we know that the record company would choose to release it, and we'd get a big hit with it. And not only would we get a big hit, we got in a lot of trouble too. In fact, the Vice President of the United States of America, Spiro T. Agnew. You all remember him, don't you? Spiro T. Agnew named us, Tom and me, if you can imagine, named us personally as subversives to American youth. Yes! We made the Nixon hate list. It was a proud day. It was a proud day in our lives, indeed. But what was so bizarre about it, you know? What was so bizarre about it is that exactly the same time the vice president was coming down on us, and I swear to God, this is a true story, Lawrence Wilk did our song. I swear, I swear to you. Lawrence Wilk did our song and introduced it as a gospel song. I swear to God he did. And Dave and, Dave and Dottie sang it and they introduced it as a gospel song. He says, these days a lot of our young writers are writing songs for the Lord. And here's one meeting at the church today. We were in London at the time. We didn't get to see it. We'd give anything for a video take of that one. And then 25 years later, the Grateful Dead starts doing the thing on stage. So Michael and I have, have a unique distinction of, of having written a song that was performed by Lawrence Wilk and Jerry Garcia. And I guess that means we write songs for old dead guys. I'm not really sure. Anyway, this song's for, for Jerry, wherever he is.
dopers out here. You're just a bunch of pot smoking hippies after all.